Okay, I'm ready to get started. Not so fast. You're getting ahead of yourself. The place to start is at home or at the library, looking at maps on the DNR's website. Yep, I'm going to hand you off to the DNR's wetland map expert, Lois Simon. She'll explain how to use these maps and what they mean. The maps I'm going to show you are only guides. You absolutely must walk your property to be sure that the map shows what's really on the ground. That's the most important thing. These maps are interactive. What you see here are wetlands and potential wetlands. The potential wetlands are based on the types of soil found on the property. So, what does the yellow shading mean? These areas outlined in yellow mean you absolutely have a wetland. The areas outlined in pink mean you potentially have a wetland. And no shading means there's probably not a wetland on your property. But you still need to investigate to be absolutely sure. We've got a checklist on our website that will help get you started. There are a series of questions that you can answer about your land to determine if there are wetlands on your property, like low-lying wet areas in the spring or certain kinds of plants. We call these wetland indicators. Remember, the maps are only guides. You really need to go out, walk your land, and look around for potential wetland clues. Okay, I'm out of here.